in numerous places around Columbia Basin, you'll see basalt, fractured basalt, weathered basalt, and then you'll see these sediment stringers inside the basalt, kind of penetrating down. And they can be a, big, a bit ambiguous. You know, are these clastic dikes? Well, this isn't, you know, this isn't basaltic sediment. This is uh, sediment identical to the Tushi beds. This is Tushi bed sediment. The curious thing is that there is uh, fill banding. There is a vertical uh, striping. And I think uh, that, uh, that banding is identical uh, to that seen in, in other classic dikes that don't intrude bedrock. They do connect up to the sediments that were deposited by Missoula floods. So certainly not all of these little filled fractures are relevant to the classic dike problem, but some are. So whether we call them filled fractures or clastic dikes, uh, they're downward injected uh, sheeted silt sand bodies, tabular bodies in bedrock. We're at uh, Alderdale Ridge along Highway 14 and these are pillow basalts. So Miocene pillow basalts and here is a uh, a uh, pretty good example of a sheeted clastic dike that's intruding well, at least 20 meters down into uh, the basalt. So you can see that sheeted character and it may get obscured as I carve it away. But uh, the typical silt sand dike that you see all over the Columbia Basin here intruding uh, fractured pillow basalts. 